2023 Chevrolet Corvette Z06 Plody Review Pros That engine Supple ride World-beating handling Cons Interesting brake pedal feel Busy styling Squirkle steering wheel still controversial Here's most of what you need to know about the 2023 Chevrolet Corvette Z06 with the Z07 package, it put down the second quickest figure 8 lap time we've ever recorded. The only car to beat it is the McLaren 765LT, which makes significantly more power and torque and costs 3 times as much, as tested, as the Chevy. And even then, it only beats the Corvette by 0.05 second. The Corvette is punching above its weight? Yeah, with brass knuckles. Supercars typically come with a list of trade-offs, and the Z06 is the shortest by far. It's not insanely expensive, it's not miserable to drive around town, it has room for your stuff, and it beats some of the best cars in the world in instrumented testing, not to mention driving experience. The grip levels are obscene, said senior features editor Johnny Lieberman, the brakes are fantastic, the steering precise, there's no way to rationally critique this car. The rest of the judges had similar problems finding things to dislike about the Z06, and all of them were subjective. The biggest, the brake pedal feel. As Lieberman said, we all love the stopping power, but the feedback from the bi-wire pedal felt artificial and required some acclimation. The brakes have two modes, and the racier setup, in which the pedal responds to pressure more than stroke, was at least deemed better by most of our judges. Otherwise, there was a carryover complaint or two from the standard Corvette. The Squirkle steering will still rub some people the wrong way and the Z06 visual updates don't do anything to counter existing opinions about the vaguely chintzy, busy styling. You'll learn to live with both, especially once you've driven it in anger. Shockingly approachable for something with such high limits, said Deputy Editor Alex Staclosa. Even crossing those limits, the car is pretty benign. Mexico editor Miguel Cortina agreed. This car checks all of the boxes in the criteria and then more. It's comfortable, fun, affordable, and drives like something that's $100,000 more expensive. Mike Floyd, our editorial operations director, waxed that this car is just so goddamn good, adding and it's unlike any Corvette in history given the mid-mounted 5.5-liter LT6. It's also easily the best daily driver of the high-horsepower cars here, with comfortable and supportive seats and a tour mode that you could trundle around town with no problem. You can even get in and out of it without killing yourself, and load in some gear on the way to the track as well. Even with the coupe you can have an open-air experience. There's just so much good happening here, he continued, so many generations of development shining through. The carbon fiber wheels, the aero, everything has been dialed in. It's an absolute screaming bargain as well. You can quibble with the exterior styling, and while the interior is far better than any previous Corvette, it's still a bit odd in its layout. But those are minor issues. The Corvette has finally become almost everything we want it to be, and the Z06 is the ultimate expression of the 8th generation. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.